within the arcane learnings, within the arcane testaments, texts, holy books, eldritch grimoires of ancient Egypt, there is the image of Anubis weighing the heart, the psychical heart, your conscience, your sum total of your life's doings and sometimes not doings, but Anubis weighing the heart against the feather of truth, weighing the heart of a man who has just passed over against Mott, the feather of truth. And it is a clean heart that is a light heart, a heart that can be filled with light. And this is the home of our Christ consciousness. A clean heart is a light heart full of Christ consciousness. And the path of the mages, the path of the magi, the work of the ascendant is to go amongst the various forces, the elementals, the elements within each personality. Oh, you can say so-and-so is prone to anger or, or, or she is prone to lust and, uh, uh, you know, but each person has this sort of variety of forces within them to contend with, to, as a metaphysical gardener, to weed through and to transcend, to ascend from. The self-aware soul that we are, your highest expression of your God force, your energy, is trying to emerge and express itself. Rather, in the parlance of the New Age terminology, it's trying to ascend. It's trying to leave the tumultuousness of 3D life, the duality of 3D life, and ascend and express itself as a voice in the wilderness. And the teachings of the God-man, Yeshua, Joshua the Christ, Yeshua, they help us pare away the egotism, the 3D material preponderance of our attention, which imprisons us in our shells, which keeps us tethered to this 3D reality, this prison of matter. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not as some of the Gnostics tend to totally just, you know, turn their backs on matter, physical existence, and, you know, say it's totally evil. But this matter, this genetic vehicle that we all possess is the foundation of our learning. It is at least, speaking for myself, the foundation of my conscious at this time and being. And I'm grateful for that. To, to learn the lessons that I've came here to learn, to ascend, raise my consciousness and touch my metahuman eternal Christ heart. A clean heart is a light heart. And that is what I believe ascension to be. And the true teachings of the God-man Yeshua, not the concoction Jesus, the son of Zeus, that is part of organized religion and the cult of Constantine, the Vatican, which is the Antichrist, you see, dear esteemed viewer, many things that are true have been subverted for a nefarious agenda. But it is the express purpose of the Umbanda New Earth ashram to bring the truth. Because a clean heart, a clean heart full of truth, that when you pass over to the other side, when you have transcended your personal self, your day-to-day -day 3D self, which now think about it, your sense of I, your identity, is it the same as it was 10 years ago? Is your sense of I, the things that you cling to, the things that you get all upset about and anxious over, are they the same as even a month ago? So you see, you have this personal self, this 3D self, your Terran self, your 3D self that is, it's not eternal. It changes all the time depending on what outside forces you have or what your current flavor of the day is or what it is your ego and its illusions thinks that you are to be identified with. That is not your permanent self. Ascension is leaving your 
present 3D self, your sense of I, your tenuous sense of I, you have all these different identities, which of them are eternal. Your only eternal is your Atman, your soul, your Christ consciousness. A clean heart is a light heart. And it is that is what ascension is, is leaving this present day self, your 3D self, and ascending to your permanent self. That which stays with you when you cross over and when you're faced with Anubis, Christ, Christ, who there is a judge, there is a spiritual um, process in place. And at one time it was Christ was known as Anubis. Now, let me tell you something. This may come as a shocker, uh, dear esteemed viewer, but stay with me. We are not the inheritors of a Judeo-Christian civilization. We are actually the inheritors of a, an Egyptian Christian civilization. Christ was trained in the mystery schools of Egypt. When he left as a young person, when they, his parents took him away uh, to escape Herod's wrath, when they were going to crucify or they were going to kill the little babies because of the prophecy that Herod had. But it, and, and even going back, to Moses, which is, is, is actually just the ending of an Egyptian name. Moses, like Amen Mose, Ramose, Thutmose. These are, these are uh, names that are formed of a God's name followed by Moses. So Moses is an Egyptian, is just a recasting of Egyptian technology. The, the, the journey of the Christ is just a recasting of all of the Egyptian, what the, what the people went through in that time, what they understood as the journey to their permanent self. Everyone has the journey to take. That is what the external savior, this is the true evil of the external savior program, is that they are getting you to look outside of yourself and worship when it's all within you. Each one of us are to take this journey of transcending our 3D self, ascending to our permanent Christ self, and realizing that everything in existence is of God. Everything is from source, a manifestation of source, of the mother, father, God, of the all that is, and everything that is imbued with a divine spark. Everything in existence that we see is a, imbued with this divine spark. But you see, there is also a counter energy that's seeking to monopolize, to, mon to create monotheism, to enslave you to get you part of a process to part of a business your your loose energy is just to be harvested and get you to look outside of yourself but to learn to learn about this is that you have the Christ spark within you that you must touch and the and the study of of anything in itself is a glorious religious act to learn is to worship and at the same time to progress a, along one's own path to Christhood you have this within you. We must weigh daily. We must weigh and discern and get on the path, the true path of the Christhood. And we are essentially all of us are on this path. And we also already possess within us the ability to meet this. We don't need any outside people gaslighting us, telling us that we're going to hell. If we don't worship this Jesus, son of Zeus. Okay. The Christ, which means the anointed one is within you. The power is within you to discern. And just to give you a little bit more perspective on the one known as Jesus, his, his act and Jesus is like the Hebrew uh, name is Yeshua. Uh, ben, so it's Yeshua Ben Pandira, which is broken Hebrew for the son of the Netter God Ra. Okay, this is going back because we know that Moses was an Egyptian. Yes, he was just recast as this he Judea uh, Hebrew and all this, but it's his name is. Jesus' name is Yeshua bin Pandera, which is broken Hebrew for the son of the Nether God Ra. Ra is the creator that created the sun in order for there to be life on earth. Ramos, Moses, Ramos, Ramoshi, Ramoses, Ramoises, Ramusa, for I am the son of Ra. It is all the same. All of these names, these Aramaic names, are, come from Egyptian, or from Egyptian language. 
And this is what we have to understand as we learn this and grow in our Gnosis. We understand the true path of the Magi is the same path that Yeshua ben Pandera followed to become the Christ, to become anointed with his own path of Christhoodness. So this is the son, Moses, for I am the son of Ra, What's, this is what this means, who practiced magic in ancient Kemet, in ancient Egypt, who taught the coexistence of two gods, and who taught that I am the son of God. I am the son of Miriam, of Isis, Mary, Ra, God, Atum, through the philosophy of the Theogamia, theosophy. This theology is the study of God in everything. And this is what our path of the magus is, is to divinize matter, to see with our own divine eyes the Christ in everything, the Christ principle in everything, and rise. Because the divine spark is in all. The divine spark is within you. How dare another person come along and tell you that you're going to hell because of this or that. They are nothing but a of the voice of Satan. And you have the divine spark within you. It just needs to be released. It needs to be recognized. It needs to be divinized. And it needs to rise. So, dear esteemed viewer, perhaps any of these words will serve you well in your journey, uh, but it is all about the truth. You will know them by the fruits of their labors. You will know them by what they indulge in and what they seek to, the energy they seek to bring to another. And here at the Umban, the New Earth Ashram, we are just seeking to bring the energy of truth and enlightenment, that your heart may be lightened, that you may Touch the Christ consciousness and rise.